I'm doing my book report on the book called Hatchet by Gary Poulsen. This is a book of adventure and survival. Hope you like my presentation. Hi, my name is Brian. I'm 14 years old and I live with my mom in New York. I'm heading to visit my dad in the Canadian Rockies. I'm not really looking to for forward to seeing him, but it'll be cool traveling on an airplane. The first person I met on the, my trip was the pilot of the airplane. Everything was going great until he told me his stomach wasn't feeling well. He said it was probably something I had ate before. I was nervous, but tried not to worry. Then he said, my God, my chest is coming apart, and I knew that was bad. A heart attack. What was I going to do? I was hurt after the crash, but I made my way to shore. I knew I had to make a shelter and find food. The first few days were the hardest. I was cold, hungry, and scared. I worked to build a shelter using a hatchet that was in the plane. It was the one thing that I needed more than anything. I still didn't have any fire, but I found a food I found food. A bush with tons of berries on it. The problem about those berries was that they were sickening. After a couple days, I was able to start looking for food again. I found a raspberry bush, but a blackberry didn't taste. One night, I heard a noise in my shelter and didn't know what it was. Turns out it was a porcupine, and it got me with its quills. I threw my hatchet, missing the porcupine, but it hit the stone wall of my shelter and made a spark. Now I knew how I could make fire. dry. A couple of days later, I heard a sound in the sky. It was a rescue plane. It ran with a burning log to try to make a signal fire, but it was too late. It flew the other way. I felt like giving up. I wanted to die. I realized I had no choice but to survive. I made a bow and arrows and a spear so I could get food. I used a fire to cook the fish I got. One day I was fishing and a moose came up. I didn't know what to do. He attacked. The same day as I dragged myself back to my shelter, I heard a terrible noise. Out of nowhere, strong wings knocked down trees and blew things apart. In the forest, it was a tornado. When the tornado had passed, I looked out of the lake and I could see the tail of the plane for the first time. I knew there had been some emergency supplies on that plane, so I made a raft and swam out to look. I found a package with some freeze-dried food and an emergency transmitter. I tried the emergency transmitter, but I thought it didn't work. So I went back to my shelter. Two hours later, I heard the same sound I heard a week ago. There was an emergency plane coming to pick me up. I was filled with joy, and they rescued me.
was back in my dad's house and everybody treated me like the kid I was before my adventures. But it was different. I had survived on my own for 47 days and I would never be the same.